Jesus, everyone. Everyone close your eyes, including children. Look at the God's glory, hallelujah. At the presence of His power that will come down in our midst. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Call upon the name of God. Call upon the name of God. Everybody open your mouth and call upon the name of God. Ask the Lord to fill the sanctuary with His glory. Fill the sanctuary with His fire. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, my Father. The name that is the name of all names. The power of all power, my God Almighty. King of glory. Hallelujah. Come on, if you can rise up your right hand. Rise up your right hand and your voice. Amen. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Father, we declare your glory to come down, O God, my Lord. Through our right hand, we declare that you are greater in this place. You are mighty in this place, O God, my Father. Do what you want to do, my God, Lord, my Father. Let your glory will be revealed, O God Almighty, King of glory, not by might, not by power, but by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, not depend upon our preparation. Father, you and you alone will be glorified. You and you alone will be glorified. You and you alone will be magnified. God, my Lord God, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Kira Baba Landi Ramakka Labalandi Rakalabalandi Awesome God, have your way, Daddy. As your people come with a heavy burden, come with a heaviness, Lord God. Come with a lot of things, to God, my Lord. You are the healer, you are the deliverer, you are the Prince of Peace, my God, my Father. That you will impact with God Almighty in the name of Jesus, my God. That we are dependent upon the Holy Spirit of God. Where the Spirit of God, there is liberty. There is freedom, my God, my Father. In the name, that is the name of all name. I surrender the worship team in the hand. Anoint them and use them in a mighty way. I bring Lord my God the testimony time. Bless it to God. Bring the supernatural testimony for the glory of God alone to be lifted on high. I pray the announcement time. The people of God will be aware of it to God my Lord. I pray my God my Lord God Almighty. The word of God will be released to God so mightily. So powerful way that will create a life inside of us oh God I pray Lord God the offering time will be blessed by you the hospitality time will be blessed by you in the name that is the name of all name the power of all power oh God my father you are mighty you are excellent you are glorious you are awesome you are a greater oh God my Lord you are more than we can think more than we can Lord my God my father expect that you are able to do it your greatness in this midst oh God Almighty have your way, have your way, my God. We release everything in your feet to King of Glory, giving all the glory and honor to you. We come against every plan and power of may work of the devil. Every power and principality may operate against the survey. Any human or authority spirit, we rebuke and bind and demolish their operation in the heavenly realm in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for the new source you're adding from the north and the south and the east and the west to God. Release them daddy my god let them come and plant it in the hotels of god my father bless them your holy name give you lord bless the people those who are watching online let them feel the same as atmosphere of god for your glory giving all the glory and honor to you in jesus name we ask this prayer amen amen come on give a clap for the lord hallelujah do your best for jesus amen everybody shout jesus jesus Jesus! Amen. Come on, worship team. Hallelujah. Take care over in Jesus' name. Amen.
worship you, Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Indescribable, uncontainable. There's no words to describe your love, your goodness that you have done. I have no words to say. There's so many things I can say about your love, about your goodness among us. Amen. From the highest of heights to the depths of the sea. Majesty from the colors of fall to the fragrance of spring, every creature unique in the song that it sings, all exclaiming, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by. You are amazing, God. All powerful, untamable. All strong, we fall to our knees as we humbly proclaim. You are amazing, God. Who has told every lightning bolt where it should go? Seen heavenly storehouses laden with gold. Who imagines the sun and its source to its light? Yet concealed it to bring us the coolest of night. None can find them. Indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing. Now. All powerful, untamable. You took me fall to our knees and be humble. You are amazing. Now. Indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing. Now. All powerful, untamable. All strong, we fall to our knees. As we humbly proclaim, you are amazing, God. Indescribable, uncontainable, you place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. You are amazing, God. All oh, powerful. Untamable, all strong, we fall to our knees as we humbly proclaim, you are amazing, God. You are amazing, God. Oh, church, Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us. For being here this morning to be able to worship you, to be able to call you Father Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, there's nothing I can describe you because you're so good. Your mercy, your mercy is over us, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for everything. Oh Jesus, we thank you for what you've done. Oh Jesus. It's your unfailing love Your cross has spoken mercy over me No eyes has seen, no ear has heard No heart could fully
beauty of your majesty Always my heart to sing How marvelous, how wonderful you are Beautiful one, I, I love I 
see your face, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're beautiful. open your heart and your mind and think of the goodness of God. Think of the power of God, hallelujah, this morning. That He is indescribable. He is uncontainable, hallelujah. Awesome, we proclaim, hallelujah. Oh, the things God has done in our life. Unless and until you recognize what He has done it in your life, that you can expect something new, hallelujah. Come on, this is a time that you will recognize I mean, all that he has done it, hallelujah. That he will bring praises to the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. God, my Father, open your mouth. The way you wanted to praise your amen. The way you want to appreciate your Lord. The way you want to exalt him, hallelujah. Do that, do that, hallelujah. That he is worthy, he is worthy, hallelujah. Come on, amen. He has given you a good health. He has given you a good strength. He has given you the good shelter. He has given you the favor, hallelujah. What else he did not give you, amen. Bring praises to the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. That he is worthy, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Open your mouth, hallelujah. We worship you, daddy. We honor you, God, my father. We adore you, God, my Jesus. Every single one, children, open your mouth and thank the Lord. Thank you, thank you, praise him, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, God. Where there is spirit of God, there is liberty. There is freedom, hallelujah. Exalt and experience the Holy Spirit. Experience the fire of God. Push yourself into the glory of God, hallelujah. Oh, that His manifestation, His manifestation will come in every territory of our life in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord God, I'll tell Him, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit of the living God. Ora mama kalaba langde ra kalaba langde aushada nama langde ra kalaba langde ra. Those who are gifted in tongues, open your mouth and talk in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. Every power and principality, every stronghold of the demon, every spirit of sickness, every spirit of pain that will be cast into the hellfire now. As we are praising God Almighty. Yes, Lord God, my Father. Ira baba kala mala di raba aushada nama. Praise you, praise you, praise him, praise him, hallelujah. Bring your own song to the Lord God Almighty. Bring your own praises to him. Hallelujah. Don't be quiet in front of your God Almighty. We are not worshipping a statue. We are not worshipping a religion. We are worshipping a relationship. We are worshipping the true living God. The God who talks. The God who can hear. The God who can see you. Hallelujah. Ira mama kalaba lande. Aushada labaka laba lande ra. Amen. With your praises, every mountain will be moved out. With your praises, every pain will be disappeared. With your praises, every trick of the devil that is planning in future, that would be every cycle will be defeated. Every cycle will be defeated. In the name of Jesus. Ira mama kalaba lande ra. Kalaba. Aushada lama lande ra. Kalaba, oh, we worshiping you, Daddy. We honoring you, Lord God, my King. We adoring you, Father, loving you, sweet Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Amen, God, my Jesus. Just feel the presence of God. Feel the glorious presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. If you can lift your hands, I may just control the children, please. Ask them to feel the presence of God in the house of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel the glorious anointing. Oh, Father, we love you. And he let your heart melt before his sight this morning. Let your heart be overflow with his glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my God, my Father. Thank you, Daddy, for melting us, my God. Thank you for molding us, Daddy. Thank you for making us, Lord, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Every burden will be taken up this morning. Every heaviness from your people will be lifted up, my God, my Lord. Every cycle will be, how many God broke. Every cycle will be freed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God, my Father, as we are people, they are standing here. I see, I feel, even into different territory of your life, even in the long distance, even in the different continent, God is doing a miracle for you. God is able to do a miracle for you. If you believe, hallelujah. Clap your hand and rejoice one more time. Everybody give your best clap for the Lord God Almighty. Yes, yes, exalt him. Exalt him. Hallelujah. We worship the name that is the name of all names. The power of all power. Hallelujah. He is greatest of greatest. He is a mighty of mighty. There is nothing is difficult for him. Oh, Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we are adoring you. Lord God, my Father. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are glorious in this place. Amen. We worshiping you, God, my King. King. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for being God in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, for holding us, for leading us, Daddy. Amen. I feel the glorious presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Dear children of God, don't be diverted there and here. 
Feel him, feel him, feel him this morning. Feel him, hallelujah. Feel him, don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. Your God is watching over you, hallelujah. What is in your mind, what is in your heart. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Welcome the Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Makala Balandi, Aushadala Bakala Balandira, Ira Mama Kala Balandi. We worshiping you, Daddy, my God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're awesome. You're so wonderful. You're so glorious, Daddy. Breathe on us, my God. Every dryness in this place will be the create a life. I command that to be happen. Breathe in every bone, breathe in every muscles, breathe in every nose in the name that is the name of all name. The power of all power, my God, into the territory of your people. Let there be a breathing of God to flow now in the name of Jesus. In the family, God, my Lord, the breath of God to flow. Raba Kalabarandi, Rama Kalabarandi. Will you hold your neighbor's hand, please? Hold your neighbor's hand now. Amen. I sense in my spirit that to do something. Hold your neighbor's hand. And you're going to intercede for that person. Hallelujah. Whatever they are going through, whether it's a spiritual blessing or a physical blessing, just intercede for them. Open your mouth and tell, Lord, my God, bless my neighbor. Bless this person. Amen. Come on, open your mouth and intercede. Everybody. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Love your neighbor like yourself. Hallelujah. What do you want to happen? That you shall pray for your neighbor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Don't take it as a light what I say. I sense in my spirit that is why I say that to do. Now, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray, pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Everybody pray. Amen. Children, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Raba Kalabalandi, Rama Kalabalandi. Thank you, God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, their burden will be lifted up. Their heaviness will be lifted up. Their problem will be lifted up, my God, my Father. Oh, their pain will disappear. Oh, my God, the spiritual sluggishness will go away. Oh, the religious spirit to go away in the name of Jesus. My God, my Lord, let there be a breakthrough. Let there be a breakthrough. Let there be a breakthrough. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We declare your power. We declare your manifestation. We declare your supernatural. We declare your glory, my God, my Father. In the name that is the name of all names. The power of all power, my God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 my God, my King. Break through in my heart, break through in my mind, break through in yes, my spirit. Yes, declare that, come on. Break through in my yes. soul, break through in, in my, my weakness, break through in my struggles. You are the God, you are the God of the break through in my worship, break through in my praise, break through when I live and glorify your name. You are the God, you are the God of the praise. 
Hallelujah. When Daniel was in the city. Oh, there are saints of God. They intercede for the city, for the nation. God is looking. In this critical situation, God is not based upon the politicians. The Bible says, a warfare is not against the powers and principal what not against the flesh and blood but against the powers and principality which is operating in the heavenly realm that every stronghold will be pulled down every stronghold will be pulled down let us intercede this morning if you are able to kneel down i encourage you to kneel down or if you can stand stand in the presence of god Let us impact the glory of God in this nation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody urged by the Holy Spirit, you can just raise up your voice and pray for the nation of Ireland. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the spiritual blindness to be open in this nation. The glory of God will be revealed in this nation of Ireland. I believe that everybody of you know how to pray, how to talk to your God. So don't wait for somebody else. Amen. If you feel the spirit of God is putting the burden inside of you, open your mouth and pray. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, my God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my King. Amen, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Come on, don't be divert or join in the prayer. Join in the prayer. Hallelujah. With one accord, whatever we ask, God will do it. Jesus, we pull down every stronghold. Father, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus, the name that is the name of all names, the power of all power, that your manifestation, your salvation, my God, be in this nation of Ireland, my God, my King, Hallelujah, Daddy, my God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah my God. Thank you daddy my God my king. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah my father. Praise you God my father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh man Jesus. Thank you daddy my God. Hallelujah. Praise you God my father. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah my God. Amen oh God almighty. Hallelujah my God my father. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you daddy. Amen oh God my father. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah my God. Thank you Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Daddy, my God, my King. Amen, King of Glory. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God Almighty. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, God, my Father. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God Almighty. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Daddy. My God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is able to do it. God is giving us a victory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name over this nation. Amen. Amen. You may be seated now. God is good all the time. Amen. If our God is good, that He can testify what good things He has done it for you. Hallelujah. Amen. If anybody have anything to testify for the glory of God, that you can declare that and edify the church and bring praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a time of testimony. If anybody have anything to share, you can testify. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just thank God. Uh, Jesse turned six last Monday. Amen. And uh, really, since the time she was born to this day, she has been such a blessing in our family. And even last year, there's been she. We wouldn't be able to see her this year. Even there was uh, times, you know, she ha she went through difficulties. But by the grace of God, her life was saved, and she is still alive and cheerful. And she was, she just loves the God. I just want her to grow in the Lord's love Amen. in the coming year. And uh, I thank God for all the blessings. Hallelujah! Blessed be His holy name. Amen. I praise God for this blessed child. You know, she has always a smile on her face. Amen. And she could able to come for the night vigil and sleep in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the way they will grow in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I want to thank and praise God that He added one more year in my life. Amen. And I praise God for all the goodness and mercies in my life and in my family. Amen. Thank come you. on, give a clap for the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessed be His holy name. Amen. No other testimonies? Okay. Thank God for all the testimonies. Your testimony? Okay. All right. Uh, uh, we'll go to the announcement. Um, if we can play the, the video of the orphanage, please. Uh, we could be able to send 2 lakhs, uh, 200,000 Indian rupees for the first uh, payment to the orphanage, which is in Eurasia in India. Um, as I mentioned last week, um, if they are not fulfilling the requirements of the government, uh, the orphanage need to be shut down in, in the July, month of July. So uh, they approach the, the pastor has not this one, the orphanage video. Um, the pastor is running, there are different churches, but uh, we are not supporting any other church ministries there, only um, the orphanage, when I prayed, uh, the Lord given me, normally I get a lot of calls and, you know, emails and everything for the commitment of finance. But um, anyone comes for the finance, you know, I, I will not just take it as serious because they have to be dependent upon God. That is my faith. That's the way we run here also. But this one, when I prayed, you know, I felt in my spirit that we have to, you know, we have to do this. 
and we are we we will do it amen this is not a big thing for us and with the help of god that we will do it so so the first prayer when i prayed and god put in my heart us from my family that we need to give 1000 euro just hold on please and so you all know that we are running our family with one pay uh, you might be thinking pastor has lot of balance bank balance and everything you know it's not about we are not having a lot of bank balance it's not about how much you have it but it's all about your heart hallelujah amen so us the 36 children if they're not fulfilling this in before july they have to be on the street they're not having father or mother and uh, you know many of us we receive the child benefit and everything if some months child benefit we can you know as we take this as our spiritual ch children that we can support some area when we go for shopping we spent when we want to buy a car we you know go for a loan or cash or anything we do that so it is all about the heart i'm not forcing you but just as the list will come to you now uh, that whatever you can commit that you write down your name and the amount doesn't matter you need to give now they started the foundation when the foundation finished the next payment we need to release they will let us know how much we need to then once the complete project finished then the, all the remaining money need to be given so we're just gathering the money we are sent already 200,000 Indian rupees which is 2 lakhs uh, that 2,500 euro that I have sent and I got the check and everything in the copy if anybody want to see that I can show you amen so just hear this uh, this is a posture and if uh, show the pastor's voice then he can show a little bit of the video of the orphanage where the children lives and by God's grace, we are working in the midst of tribal people and, and right now we have a tribal orphan's home where 36 children are staying and uh, with one room they are suffering and they are struggling. The government always coming visiting there and they are forcing me to make a uh, separate building for them and due to uh, financial problem we are unable to do it and uh, finally the government children's officer has given the deadline before July we have to finish the building otherwise they will cancel our orphan's license so please Please do remember us in your prayer and extend your prayer and support for the tribal orphans. This orphan has no father and mother from the childhood. They lost their parents and by God's grace, we are thus far we are able to take care of them. But due to the government restriction. We are struggling a lot. Please pray for us. Thank you. Yes, Lord, sir. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to my guest has been number three on the gospel charts, but that's not why he's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Amen. So the list will come to you now. Um, 
write your name and the amount says so Karen will be collecting the money. It doesn't matter that, you know, even if you can give before July, that is okay. Before July, um, before end of June, so we allow. And if you know any friends or anybody, we will see how much we can support. And out of that, uh, we will be printing some details of this orphanage and we might approach if people of you, uh, you know, the church, you want to approach your colleagues or your office or uh, anybody that you are willing to do that or, you know, some of them came to me yesterday and uh, even they are rising for this orphanage from India. They are known people. So if you want to do that, let me know. I can give you the uh, account detail and everything. They can transfer the money directly there. Amen. So just don't hold that. When the list comes to you, don't hold it. Just pass through. If you are already written your name, just pass through. Or if you want to revise the money, if God is putting you to increase anything more into that, you can do that. God will bless you. Treat as your own children. Amen. If your own children, 36 children lives in one room, imagine what is your feeling. They are not having a proper place to take the bath. All these children, 36 children and caretakers having two, only two toilets. Imagine if five of them get loose tool, what will be the condition? Yeah, so we need to support. I mean, as God is placing this request in us, God will reward you. Hallelujah. Amen. God will bless you. As the list goes to you, you can write down, but everybody listen very carefully the announcement, which is very, very important. And um, we have been blessed last um, Thursday and Friday attending Solid Rock. Um, the worship concert with Eddie James and team from America. Uh, he has been used by God so mightily since he was small from the school. You know, you can uh, uh, hope most of you knows that Sid Roth uh, who brings the supernatural testimony. So one of that was taken by him and there he's explaining in the school how he, you know, even prayed and healed, uh, uh, instant healing upon the teacher. On the staircase, the teacher fell and he prayed with his Bible. So, so much passionate. And basically, his ministry is the main ministry is worship leading, but above all, his ministry is going into the street and rescuing the young youth people, those who are drug addicted, those who are you know, sexually abused. And he is rescuing, he has a place there where he can place them. And he's turning their life to lead the worship for God. Amen. And through that, he brought 18 people this time with his same team. As, uh, you know, he has more than 100, 100 youth. They are staying with him. Amen. So it is our privilege. Normally, his ministry will be, they will be conducting in a big crusade, big stadium and everything. So as he came, last Friday, they approached Pastor uh, Emmanuel in Solid Rock that if he can come on the way to just, you know, bless our church, leading one song. But unfortunately, they had to be in the airport at 5 o'clock, early in the morning. And he apologies. Eddie James himself, he spoke to me and he said, we are very tired. But we're coming back on Monday to for Friday. We'll be here if you wish that we can come to bless your church. So then he himself proposed on Friday that he can come. So I told him that we are small congregation. But he said, as long as we are in the country, we don't mind. We want to be a blessing for the kingdom of God. So it is our privilege. Imagine that where God is taking ministry of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God is bringing, you know, the, the, the big, big vision. I mean, big, big people to impact what the Spirit of God wanted to impact. Hallelujah. It's not about the person. It's about the anointing he's carrying. It's about the mission. It's about the passion. Hallelujah. So God is the God who opened the new door for us to, you know, have them here. And at the same time, Pastor Bijoy is going to come. And so we have the three days meeting, special meeting with Pastor Bijoy, 4th, 5th and 6th. So as Pastor Bijoy also will be here on Friday. Uh, we'll give more time for Eddie James and his team than Pastor Bijoy. If possible, he will preach on that day also. So, and so we start the meeting 6.30. And I request the church members, as may I expect more people will be coming because he is very famous, Eddie James. More people will be here. So... So come early, about 6 o'clock at least, come and, you know, be here. And so we'll be setting everything. After this service, 
Brother Sinkaran, he is, you know, so much doing for the church in the electrical way. So he is going to set few lights in the church. I request brothers, if you can, some of you can stay back after the service to give a hand. So it will be so wonderful. Hallelujah. I brought the lights and everything. So he's going to set some white lights there and here because some places are dark. So stay and give a hand for him. Amen. And we got a, um, just, just play the video, please. But that's not why he's here. He's here because he literally hears songs from heaven. He literally hears not just trumpets, but shofar, ram's horn, blasts from heaven. And when he sings these songs, miracles. And the feet of my life and my salvation with the wicked. The church. You know what? You know one thing? The church is called to be a blessing to the community. Church has never been called for themselves alone. Church, church has called to be a blessing to the society. Amen. Come on, give a clap for the Lord, for the servants of God. Amen. So there are leaflets we have printed now from our media team. Come on, give a clap for our media team. Amen. They're working hard. Hallelujah. They're doing a great job. Amen. So there are leaflets there. We can take and invite somebody physically if you want. Otherwise, I place this video, the small clip on the uh, our Ministry of Jesus WhatsApp group that you can forward as much as whoever you want to invite. Hallelujah. So we are going to receive some supernatural. Amen. This weekend is going to change many of your lives. Amen. I believe that. Do not miss it. Come on, touch your neighbor. Leave everything aside and don't miss it. Amen. This kind of things you cannot purchase by money. You know, you might be assigned for the job, but leave. Take a urgency or emergency leave. Hallelujah. Amen. This is going to be an emergency impact over you and your family. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to sh amen, shake the city and the nation for, for his glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So then again, we'll have the youth meeting today. Parents, listen carefully. We'll have the youth meeting after the service. Just about an hour time. That will be in the second floor. So don't rush after the service, parents, just sacrifice uh, to stay and release your children just while you are taking the refreshment or helping with blessing care and they can do the youth meeting until 2 o'clock. Amen. So then the coming Monday, the next Monday, not tomorrow, the following Monday, the uh, bank holiday, we have a youth meeting with Pastor uh, Bijoy. He will be conducting the youth meeting from 10 o'clock in the morning. And the full date is until 4 o'clock. So if anybody of you know any, any youth that bring them, it will be a blessing for them. Amen. We will provide the lunch and we will take care of the refreshment. Hallelujah. God will bless. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And all other things uh, will be as usual. Tomorrow's house prayer will be there. And Tuesday. How many of you want to join Eddie James' concert? Yeah. So... Uh, we will not have the Bible study here. As Eddie James, he has a special event with uh, Solid Rock that he's going to teach mostly about worship, writing songs, listening the Holy Spirit, composing music and everything from his experience. So he's going to do that section on Tuesday. So we as a church, we will stand. It's all about the kingdom of God, isn't it? 
we are not just a separate kingdom and they are not separate kingdom. When we get an opportunity, it's good to stand together. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Pastor Emmanuel is, you know, a very good friend. And God is connecting with a special purpose. Hallelujah. So they start at 7 o'clock there in Solid Rock. So we will not have a Bible study here. It is in NG Court. Let us all go there. If anybody wants a transportation, you do not know the place, let me know. That we can come and pick pick you from the church here. Hallelujah. Or if you know want the address, let me know. I can give more details. Amen. And the other thing is, this leaflet is available that you can take. And this is to, you know... Um, to make the people understand about what is abortion and what is going to happen in the city, take the leaflet and put it in the post box of your neighbors or give to somebody or leave in your office or the break room or everywhere, you know, let people hear. And we will be joining as a church. I want the church, on, we have the fasting prayer with Pastor Bijoy, uh, you know, on 14th. Well, we'll finish at 1 o'clock and we'll be joining for the rally in the city center. All the churches, they're going to join. I want you to dedicate. It is going to be about one or two hours. We will go with our, you know, guitar and we will go with the tambourine and everything. While we're walking on the road, we're going to sing for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us impact the glory of God. Amen. So please join on 14th on this month. And the last day of registering your vote. You know, if you want to, if you are not registered for voting, last day will be 8th of May. So don't miss it. Register your name that, that you make sure that you are going to the pool and, you know, and you, you will vote. Amen. No to this. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let God give us a victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, just move the sound, please. Um, in relation with... Amen. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Let's take our offering and the, 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 the tithe. Those who have the list, please uh, don't keep it somewhere. Make sure that it is gone to everybody about the orphanage. Amen. And if anybody of you, you brought the money or anything that you can hand over to Sister uh, Karen or you can write your name as orphanage and put it on the offering bag you know that also you can do it amen in Jesus name praise God if you can play one of Eddie James song please while the offering going on media team if you got ready if you if it's taking time play the video video of the revival meeting Brother George and his friend is here. Come on, put a hands to welcome them in Jesus' name. Yeah. George, we are happy. Yeah. That's not why he's here. Are you working there? You're working, eh? He got a job. I mean, he came for the prayer meeting on Thursday morning. And straight away I took him to the place heaven. and he got a job he with the help of uh, Shali's dad. Hallelujah. Trumpets, Amen. God is blessed. So God bless you. Rams horn blast from heaven. And when he sings these songs, miracles. When the defeat of my, my life and my salvation, when the wicked, my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my face, they stumbled and fell. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Hey, yeah. You are on the button.
of the church in the yathramathin pustakam sabaiki miga mukhyamana pustakam you know what you know one thing the church is called to be a blessing to the community in the sabayanadu in the samudayathirku aashirvadama irukkumbadi alaikapatirukirathu church has never been called for thems of alone ஒரு <laughs> let us lift up the offering that we received in the hands of god and the people writing their commitment to us often is let us pray over it heavenly father we come under your throne thank you jesus that we can feel your glorious love in this place thank you lord for uniting each and every single one through the holy one blood that has been shed upon the cross for us my god my lord you paid the ransom you pay to god my lord the great payment for us we thank you we worship you father god thank you for blessing us to release whatever we can release that in my god according to your word my god my lord give it shall be given unto you father as we are given lord the offering the tithe or the support for the offerings i ask you to take her lord take it and bless it and sanctify it and use it for your kingdom my god almighty Father I pray for the people those who are given or made the commitment I ask you to bless them abundantly they shall experience the glorious miracle glorious favor of God in their life in the name of Jesus Christ thank you bless the savior mighty god father i pray for the word of god this morning heavenly father you speak to us from your throne hide me under wings lord god let your word of god will come with a power and authority and that will create a life in the every territory every lord god part of their life my master my god you are able to do something greater and amazing today in the name that is a name of all name every knee shall bow all tongue will confess that jesus christ is a lord today in your word of god father in jesus name we ask this prayer amen amen maybe sit and now hallelujah thank you jesus today i'm going to speak to you in relation with one particular man in the bible um mostly we will be covering from him as i was meditating god was speaking to me there are many things but the time is not enough to share everything but we will be covering as much as we can before the time finish hallelujah turn with me to book of acts book of acts chapter 9 everybody listen carefully make your children to listen the word of god let them be attentive to the word of god amen hallelujah thank you jesus acts chapter 9 verse 5 Hallelujah. This is the portion of the Bible the chapter 9 it is declaring about Saint Paul the man called Saul who was persecuted at the church more than anyone more than anyone at the time of disciples and he himself you know played the big role to murder Stephen and god is visiting him in this place as he again he is going into the mission of persecuting the christians and today's the message the title i want to give is mission of supernatural mission of to supernatural so the mission of persecution turn into a mission of to supernatural in past life the mission of persecution mission of hindering the supernatural it turn into mission of supernatural hallelujah so as he is going with something in his mind and something in his heart something filled with him with an anchor as he is going god met him on the way and god spoke to him his with his own voice 
God did not send a prophet. God did not send anybody else. But God spoke to him. God himself came down and revealed to him. And God is telling in this portion of the Bible, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. He is not persecuting Jesus, but he was persecuting the Christians. But Jesus, when Christians are touched by any other power, they are touching the Lord Jesus Christ. Because as I said the last week, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We are the carrier of his anointing. We are the anointed from a vessel of God Almighty. If anything that is touching you and me, if anything that is affecting you and me, it is not only affecting you, but because your connection is with heaven, it is affecting heaven also. That's why Jesus came down and Jesus said, Amen, Hallelujah, that you are persecuting me. And Jesus said, It is hard for you to kick against the goats, bricks. It's hard for you. It is hard, my son. It is hard. It's not easy. I know that Jesus is telling, I know that you are having a letter. You have the power. You have the soldiers. But with that, you cannot move, the, move this supernatural. The mission of, you know, the supernatural. It is hard for you. Please understand. And what is the response from him? And his response from him is that, what shall I do, Lord? The next word from him is said, what shall I do, Lord? And he said, the Lord said to him, go to the city and you will come to know what he need to do. And as God spoke to him, he went there. And now God is speaking to a person called Ananias there when God was speaking to him. And he said, this is a person who persecuted at the church. Never like before, no boy, I mean, more than anyone. And he was afraid to go to him. But the Bible says, you know, the statement concerning Paul, the Bible reveals in the same chapter 15 and 16. Read someone, please. Yeah. To bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Amen. The Lord said to the man who God wanted to send. And the Lord was telling to Ananias that. Go for he has chosen vessel of mine. He has been chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings and the children of Israel. And this vessel has been Chosen to cover the entire part of the earth. It's about the Gentiles, about the rulers, the kings, and the children of Israel. And the same God is telling, For I will show him many things that he must suffer for my name's sake. I will show him for many things. Why God need to make St. Paul to you know, go through the suffering? Today I'm going to touch... Many of you have the question that some of them, that they are turning from God when they go under the suffering. The many of them, they have the question, why Job need to go to suffering? Some of you, you know, you know that, that you will think that I am a Christian. If God is on my side, why I need to go? And who is calling St. Paul now here? Who is calling? Jesus. Jesus. And why God has a mission concerning St. Paul that he need to go through the suffering? Why he need to have the mission? What do you think? If God wanted to persecute him because he persecuted the church. What do you all think? Because some of you plan for something and when it doesn't happen, you have a big question mark. Is God alive? Is it true that God can do a miracle? If God is a God who is cared for me, why he need to allow these things? Some of you had that appointment and this did not happen. Some of you had that, this promotion that did not happen. Some of you feeling some pain in your body. When he prayed, it is not going. And then immediately the devil, it would bring so many thoughts. Oh, is it God there? 
is it god there is god is alive is the god of the miracle working god that you are worshiping so what do you think why god need to have a mission concerning saul that he need to go under great suffering that i will show him that the things he need to be suffer for my name sake what do you think church what do you think is anybody huh is shape him. to shape him. Mold him to mold him so god knew that uh, paul saul was very strong and he would stand for it god knows that paul is very strong that he can stand for him yeah so to shape him to mold him and god knows that he is very strong yeah so when you face some difficulties what do you think for what you feel that difficulties huh to mold you to shape you because you are not having proper shape <laughs> you are not molded well to bring glory to god who said that yeah to bring glory to god Amen. anything else huh preparing. preparing us for what for his blessing yeah something else somebody said in to increase our faith to increase our faith you know paul we know that he went through i'm going to touch a little bit area where how he went through and through that what has happened through him what has happened through him that will i believe that that will open the eyes of your you know your spiritual eyes will be open today that you will understand today that the purpose why you are going through the bible says to you and me you shall go through the fire but i will be with you you shall walk in the water but i will be with you hallelujah I mean the Bible says do not fear that I am with you that I will never put you into shame. But the Bible doesn't say that you will not go through fire. The Bible doesn't say that you will not walk on the water. The Bible doesn't say that no storm or the no wind will hit you. That will only happen when you reach to heaven. But as long as you are in this earth there's all the difficulties and problem what the world is facing that will come upon you and me. Hallelujah. but the reason there the people outside there they will face the same difficulty same portion of persecution or anything but the support upon your life is a supernatural that's why i call this you know message is mission of supernatural so god called him and turn with me to acts chapter 14 Acts chapter 14 verse 10 said with a loud voice stand upright on thy feet and he leaped and walked here paul was going for the mission in a, in iconium as he was going and he saw a crippled man from the birth that was mentioned in the bible he, the crippled man from the birth he was there and when paul is preaching and the discrepant man he is listening and having faith upon the preaching of saint paul and paul is looking unto him and he said that's what he's saying when the apostle barnabas and paul heard this read that word again please verse 10 yeah 10 said with a loud voice stand upright on thy feet and he leaped and walked So Paul said just release the voice and he said stand upright on your feet when Peter and John went to the uh, when they went to the temple they said gold and silver we do not have but we have the name of Jesus and what did they do they hold his hand and make him to stand and he walked okay. here saint paul he is not walking not holding his hand and make him to stand but right what he is doing he is speaking 
that's what i said in last week when he speak a word when god spoke a word there is a life in it and example i said i when i asked somebody to clap they clapping i didn't go and touch their hand and you know there is a power in that's what the bible says there is a power in your tongues make sure that what you use your tongues for hallelujah so here saint paul he is using his tongue for the benefit of the healing upon this person and as he has spoken there the crippled man the bible says the crippled man he stood and he walked through the voice of saint paul and immediately immediately in the same chapter what is happening for saint paul if we go further that the bible will know that you know they are they are calling read the next word please and verse when, 11 and when the people saw that paul had done they lifted up their voices saying in the speech of lyconia the gods are come down to us in the likeness Brava of men Kalaba. thank you jesus now what is the title the iconian people giving for paul the gods came down by looking at the miracle they and they they they're declaring with their understanding god says come down in our midst but what is the mission of saint paul to suffer for the name of jesus when the mission god has concerning somebody to suffer for the name of jesus but i want to tell you it's not about only the suffering through the suffering through the trial you go through i want to tell you the manifestation of his glory the manifestation of supernatural will be revealed hallelujah there are on the way you will receive the title in a different part that you never expected hallelujah so that is what you know the people in the iconium they said god has come down in our midst and what is happening immediately in the same chapter read verse 15 and see no, yeah 19 and 20 please and there came thither certain jews from antioch and iconium who persuaded the people and having stoned paul drew him out of the city supposing that's he had enough been... now see this god has come down in the same on the spot where they did the miracle that the jews they're coming those who stood against the hospital they're coming and they are what what are they doing the they are throwing stone upon paul is anybody they they they, they, they have the experience anyone how the experience stone fell on your body anyone here yeah that would be the worst pain isn't it even a ball come and hit you you know you will be screaming yeah so imagine the stone and when they are throwing stone and what did they the what, what did they found there they found that paul has died paul has died and paul is now going into the persecution of facing you know for the hospital he is going through receiving the stone beat upon his body and the result of that is not a crown the result of that is not you know sitting in a big chair or anything the result of that is death and the bible declared that they decided that they saw that he dead i need that that read the next words what is happening there how bit as the disciples stood round about him he rose up and came into the city and the next day he departed with barnabas to derbe dear children of god if god has a mission for paul to be stoned and declare that he dead and god has a mission after that that he has appointed for the disciples to come around him and god has a mission to release his power over his body to rise up in the same moment and the same day to proclaim the banner of christ jesus i want to tell you a, a pain hit upon your body or a sickness hit upon your body or an appointment that is cancelling in your life hallelujah god has a greater purpose after that if you murmur if you if you you know feel that where is god where am i mean, is a god of miracles is living if you have that question that your door is shut for the next things to come on in your life hallelujah Amen. you know paul he went through that the persecution because the mission of god concerning him 
for him to go through the persecution and the, and the greater manifestation of God's glory will be revealed through him. Hallelujah. Amen. See, when Paul was walking after they stoned him to death and when he was walking, what the eyes were seeing? The same people, they stoned him to death and they are seeing him and what they see him? What, what they will think in their mind? This is not a normal man. This is not a normal body. There is something inside of him. There is some glory inside of him. There is some supernatural inside of him. And the devil knows and the same people knows that this person has been appointed for the supernatural mission. Hallelujah. Oh, the storm may hit, but the storm may come. The appointment may be cancelled. Hallelujah. You might be facing a disappointment in your life. You might be persecuted from the right and the left. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, there is another chapter waiting for you. There is another greater miracle that is waiting for you. Hallelujah. God can use the same person. God can use the same body to declare the banner of Christ. I mean, saying that my miracle working God that I am carrying it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it is a normal person who has been thrown to the amen, stone upon them, do you think they will get up and walk? Even if they are admitted in the ICU, there will be a question mark. The doctors can have a limitation to bring them back. But instead of him, you and me, us, we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal Savior and God. No more that your own blood is running in your body. No more your own power is running in your body. I want to tell you the blood that can come and heal every disease. That blood that can take away every pain. That blood that can bring a breakthrough upon every situation or every mountain that is before you. That blood is running in your body. Hallelujah. If you have a faith, come on, give a clap for the Lord. And appreciate that glorious power of His manifestation. Hallelujah. Do not be murmur. Do not be disappointed. Don't bring the question when something hit in your life. Hallelujah. I want to tell you there's a greater miracle waiting for you after that. Many eyes will see them in that and they will bring the name of God. Oh, they will declare that this person is normal. This person is not a normal person. This person is not a religious person. This person who carries somebody so who is greater. Hallelujah. And again, chapter 16, verse from 22 to 23. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them unto, into the prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. The Bible says... Paul has been beaten by the rod. Here. First thing he has been thrown by the stone. Now he has been beaten by the rod on his body. Imagine people bringing the, you know, the iron rod and beating. What will be the pain upon your body? You can see the blood clot there and here, isn't it? Is that's what will happen when when that stone experience happened Paul understood there are many things to be revealed through my life let me move he is not going to his own business now in here in the marketplace as we know that he was preaching the hospital and there is a lady who has been possessed by the devil the sorcerers telling that when she said this is the people of God and when Paul commanded the evil force to go out of her the master, he lost the business from her. And the master rose up against and gathered the people and they arrested Paul and they have beaten Paul and Silas. Not a small beat, not by hand. A small beat comes, many of you are shaking your life. A small shaking comes in your life, you are shaking and you are, you know, you are leaving your God. And there are a lot of questions. But Paul... One thing he understood, there are many things to be revealed in my life.
Many glory of God need to be revealed in my life. So whatever may come, hallelujah, whatever may fall in my sight, I am not going to turn to them. But my eye has been set upon the Lord God Almighty that I will only set upon him and I will move and walk in the supernatural mission of God. Amen. That was his understanding. As he has been arrested and beaten up very badly, and what did they do? They tightened him and put him into the prison. When they put him into the prison, why well, you all know that what did they do? With the pain. You know, when, when somebody beating with a rod, you will know that maybe the hands might be broken. Because when somebody is beating, you will bring your hand, isn't it? To stop that. And you bring that, you know, the, the bone cannot stay. It cannot stop that. So it, there will be opportunity, it will be broken or something, injuries, many things might be happen. With this, they have been put into the prison. No medication, no water, no food. They are in the prison and what are they doing? What are they doing? They are praising God and singing. The Bible says in the midnight, the I mean, not only inside the prison, but the jailer outside. Who is a God outside. The soldier standing outside. Hallelujah. We don't know how much distance they might be standing. It is not a closer distance. It might be a long distance. But the Bible says they could able to hear the singing and praising God outside there. Amen. How they are singing and praising God. I want to tell you it is easy to sing for the Lord when you got the nice dress and coat and suit. When you have the nice shoe. It is easy. But when somebody is beating you, when the devil is trying to hit you there and here, that even a single praise won't come from your mouth. But instead that, you will release, you know, 100 negativeness, 100 murmuring. You will forget that there is something greater God has stored out of that. When Paul and Silas, they understood that there is something greater my God is able to do it through this. And they were singing and praising God. Not disgraced themselves, not disappointed themselves, not looking under their wound, not looking under the cancellation of the anything in their life. Hallelujah. But looking under God Almighty, they were singing and praising God. The Bible says in the midnight, hallelujah, there was a great earthquake. In chapter 16, 25 and 26, the Bible says there was a great earthquake. It's not a normal earthquake. The Bible doesn't say earthquake came. When there is a great earthquake in any city or any country, we can hear the break news, isn't it? It will come in every media breaking news. Oh, this many people died, that many people died. When God brings the great earthquake, he will make sure that only that place will be shaken. And he will have a control over everything else. Amen. What he wanted to reveal, he will reveal it. And because of their singing and praising, allowing God's manifestation to the another second level, to the next level of their life, I mean, through their song and the praises, the Bible says they could able to bring the great earthquake and again the same portion it says the jails were open the doors were open the chains were fell down Amen. nobody brought any key or anything to open it but who are these people they have been persecuted they are beaten by the rod and put into the prison and what is answered to god from their side no negativeness praising God singing for God hallelujah there is a lesson for you and me to learn from here when some situation comes concerning your children when comes some situation comes concerning your family when some situation comes concerning your husband and wife if you allow God to manifest you will definitely see the glory hallelujah the example is Stacy here today stood in the family in the presence of God and led the worship Amen. today Many of you know that uh, how she went through. And the parents, they stood and she stood faithfully. Amen, amen. And today God revealed the manifestation Hallelujah. of His glory through our daughter. Thank you, Jesus. 
That is the God we are serving. Hallelujah. That is the God we are serving. The enemy may persecute you from the right and the left, from the front and the back. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you there is a power supernatural that works on men above over you. That most fear of God that will come down and that will hit every mountain in your life. And the manifestation of his glory will be revealed through you. Amen. But what do you need to do? You need to allow God to operate. Amen. Don't murmur. Don't confess negativeness. Many of the Christian, the problem that you are not receiving the breakthrough in your life, you are not allowing, you are not open the door for God to take you into that level. Hallelujah. For the greater miracle to be operated. When, when you allow God to be a, operate, you know, it will not be a normal, it will be a greater miracle. It will be a great miracle. And there Paul and Silas, they did not just simply go. But with the same hand, the jailer came and they said, What shall so? Listen to the word. Verse 30, they said, brought them out and said, Sir, what, what must I do to be saved? Before, what would be the title of them? You prisoner. Yes. But now, Sir, yes. oh, the same place where you have been put down. My God is able to prepare a table for you in front of your enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Your cup will overflow. Amen. Your head will be anointed with the oil of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the God we are worshipping. That is the God we are worshipping. Come on, if you believe, give a clap for the Lord. And receive a miracle in the name of Jesus. Abakalabalandi. Sir, what shall we do? And Paul said, if you believe you and your household will be saved. Amen. And the entire family in the night, they took the baptism. Oh, they're supposed to be in the prison, but what are they doing now? Amen. They're conducting a baptism service. Amen. Baptism service. It doesn't matter what situation you are in. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Maybe when you look the right side, the things are like standing like a prison. When you look, side, look left side, the things are standing like, like a Jericho wall. When you look in the front, the things are standing like a Jordan River. When you are looking in the back, oh, you're the, the things, I mean, is coming like a, the army of Pharaoh. But I want to tell you, the God who has given you, I mean, the anointing, the God who is upon you, he he will make the Red Sea to be departed. He will make the Jordan River to be flee back. He will make the Jericho wall to fall down. He will make the army of Pharaoh to be buried inside your problem. Hallelujah. That is the God we are worshipping. Come on, give a clap and appreciate the Holy Spirit of God. He's a God of miracles. You have been called for the mission of supernatural. Yes. Let the supernatural God to be revealed in your life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. I am called for the supernatural. Amen. You know what time I got up and prayed for the service? 1.30 until 4 o'clock in the morning. Why? I can sleep nicely. When we were praying yesterday, family prayer in my house my children and my wife might be not noticed that suddenly we, we were singing I started to cry tears just fled from my eyes God was showing me the problem the people going through inside the compound right side there are somebody sick left side there are somebody sick you know there are someone who is a Muslim there are somebody who is you know, just hold that please, don't disturb them for the message. There are people with various belief, bound by religion. That all things that just fell on like over me like a burden. And when we were worshipping as a family prayer, I started to cry, Lord, who is going to be the answer? I said, Lord, release this such anointing. Release this anointing. These people need to be delivered. These people should not end up to the hell fire. These people need to experience the supernatural touch of God. Because I believe that I am in the mission of supernatural. 
If anybody have the submission of the supernatural, that he will not concern me, care about what is the enemy bringing in your path, but he will pass through. You will pass through. You will see miracle after miracle. You will see the greater manifestation of God. His glory will be am I revealed through you. You will be a, become a vast vessel in the hands of God. That's a greater God we are serving. That's a greater God we are serving. When I came, we went on Friday for the, the special meeting and we are to start the night vigil here. And I came, Brother Samson was handovering, you know, about 10 letters and two letters are registered letter. And when I opened that, I know this registered letter comes means something, you know, <laughs> never comes money. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Something the devil wanted him back. I know that. So when I open that, there is a warning from one of the department from government saying that um, we are doing, you know, the place is not safe according to them. They did a lot of all the survey concerning the building and they given attached a paper with that and they were saying that within 14 days, if you don't respond, that um, we have to deal with the court. When I read that, what do you think? What I will think? I, I came here to conduct the service. I just left it there, knelt down, and I started to pray for the preparation of the service. Because this is not the first thing we have seen. This ministry of Jesus has seen the giant persecution. Hallelujah. Ministry of Jesus has seen more than any church in the city because we are called for the mission of supernatural. If any mountain may come, that we will not be shaken. Any problem may come, we will not be shaken. Even the government of Ireland may declare that. If you don't bow before this idol, that we will put you into the fire. But we are not going to bow in front of that idol. But we will serve the Lord God Almighty, who is the creator of the entire universe. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. In that name, every knee shall bow. All tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Why do I say that in the name of every knee shall bow? I just prayed and left it in the hands of God. Yesterday I came to the singer and said, you know, to buy all the lights. So I came to buy the lights. I came to drop in here. So when I came to the drop to here, I met the previous owner, the, the, the original owner of the building. And I asked him if the new owner is Patrick. I asked him, is Patrick around? I sent him a message concerning the rent transferring. But he didn't reply. And he said, oh, oh he's in Spain. I, uh, and then he said, you know, this, this man, he supports a lot of charity. So he went to the Spain to support one of the charity. Then I understood God has given the right owner for us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Then I asked him, then I told Brandon, you know, this letter we received, and uh, registered letter we received. Thank you. Registered letter we received. And you know, Brandon said, Don't worry. I got the same copy. The new owner, Patrick, he already went to the court and he took the stay order. He asked the time that we're going to do everything. So don't ever do anything. Don't ever move any forward. See, if I, you know, it's easy for me to. You know, cry and weep. Oh, why God, we are serving you, Lord. Why you are bringing this letter, that letter. But when you make it as a list, this is nothing. When you leave it in the hands of God, it's not I mean, going to happen 24 hours. But be, before the 24 hours, you will hear the news. Don't worry. Be, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. But when I see the letter and when I open the Bible, immediately, you know, God spoken to me from Isaiah chapter 54. I will read that word for you. Listen carefully. God is a God who speaks. Amen. From verse 2. You know what God spoke to me? After the letter I came to the word of God. The letter from the living God. The letter from authority. And the letter from the authority of authority. Hallelujah. The letter from the king of kings and the lord of lord. I turned my eyes to there and God specially brought me to this portion. I did not go there and here, but this is what I received straight away. The Bible says, verse 2 and 3. You know what the, what the letter God, the God says, 3 and 4 also. Enlarge the place of your tent. 
Let them not stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stacks. Amen. For you shall expand to the right, to the left. And your descendants will inherit the nations. And make the desolate cities inhabited. And verse 4. Do not fear. For you will be not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced. For you will not be put into shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth. And you will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Now why I should worry when God is speaking. Before 24 hours, you know, the same word came from the man saying that, don't worry. The things has been settled. Don't worry. Hallelujah. People out there, you know, some of them, they are watching the live. When I bring these messages, these things, we receive that letter, this letter. I hear a lot of commands from the people. Oh, this. <laughs> they are not safe. They are not safe. But we are not safe. God is safe. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are not safe. The God we are serving, He is safe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are running the ministry of Jesus by faith. Hallelujah. It is not Pastor Jaisal and it is the cornerstone for ministry of Jesus. But every day my prayer is Jesus Christ alone to be a cornerstone for ministry of Jesus. As when He is serving a cornerstone for ministry of Jesus, we will not be hit by any storm or any wind. Hallelujah. As St. Paul, He is allowed many things to happen the bible says read turn with me to chapter 19 verse 11 and 12 we are almost there listen carefully chapter 19 and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out of them how does the disease departed from the people and the evil forces departed is it when saint paul prayed how the things he used the anointing was flowing like a river did god tell him that your handkerchief will be used and the devil will depart did God tell him that, you know, through the things you are using, the sickness will go when God called him? What was his calling? I will show him how much he had to be go through for my name's sake. There are things comes in your life for God's manifestation, his glory to be revealed through you. Hallelujah. Who knows the shirt you are using can heal the sick. Who knows the things you are touching that can take away the cancer disease? Who knows when you step into the room, the forces of darkness can scream and go away? Amen. Who knows that? God has a mission concerning you. Okay. You are called for the mission of supernatural. Yes. So don't be shaken by any natural persecution in your life. Hallelujah. When you are called for the mission of supernatural, I want to tell you the devil won't be quiet. That is a challenge happened for the life of Job. When he has been called for God to bless him in a double portion. The devil was not happy. He made a challenge with the Lord. And the Lord said, come on. Oh man, my son is not going to bring any negativeness concerning me. Come on, do it. Whatever you want to do. But don't touch his life. But Job allowed. That's what the Bible says. Anyone follow me carry the cross every day every day you will have a difficulties but the day when you finish you will finish it in a victorious way hallelujah you will finish it in a victorious not a normal victorious it will be a great victory in the name of jesus hallelujah and if we go further we know that paul has been taken for to be a witness in rome as he was traveling in the ship in the last chapter 28 We'll, we'll, we'll read that and we will finish. As Paul was taken to Rome, you know, many things are happening. He's standing in front of the king and he has been escorted in chapter 23. He has been escorted with centurion, many people, 100 soldiers, 70 horsemen and everything. He has been treated as a VIP, but he is going 
under persecution but he has been revealed how god can honor even in that situation but in verse 28 read was now we know before that in 27 as they were traveling in a ship the ship hit and everything broken and they need to swim and go to the the the, the land as they went there they were reached to the place called malta and the weather is so cold again that's a persecution the weather is so cold if you and me we will think lord i am in your mission why don't you make even the weather to be a little bit warmer for my body that's what we will think why don't you show the grace upon this boss of me why don't you show the grace upon this doctor of me why don't you show the grace upon the system for me that would be the question of us but Paul was taking everything in a cheerful way. Read verse 2 and 3, please. Read 2 first. Yeah, and 3 also. Chapter 28, Pastor. 28. And the, and the bar barbarous people showed, no, showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us everyone, because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, they came a wiper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Hallelujah. Paul gathered the sticks to kindle the fire. And the wiper came out of that and it hit upon his hand. And what is the statement of the nativeness, native people? Read. And when the barbarian saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt this man is a murderer, whom, thou, whom though he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. Hallelujah. See the statement. Why this wiper came and not wipe some, uh, you know, hit upon anybody else's hand? Why only in Paul? Others are not called for the mission of supernatural. There are miracles there in the same spot God wanted to reveal, you know, who is Paul and who is others. So when you stand among the ten people, there are problem. it comes and hit only you. But through that, God wanted to reveal who you are and who others are. Amen. Hallelujah. When the same problem hit upon them, you know, the same poison that will kill them. But the same persecution or problem, it will come upon you. You will be, it will turn your ways into testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is why it came and it hit upon Paul. And there also you can ask a question, why Paul? Why Job? Why me, Lord? Why my husband, Lord? Why my child, Lord? God will look at you and he will laugh. Why? Why my body? Why my situation? Why my house? And read continuous, please. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. He How shook that problem of him. He shook the poison that make, supposed to make him to death. He just shook it and put it in the fire. And it burned. Hallelujah. And he continued his mission. And what is happening there? Verse 6. Uh, six. How bad they looked. Yeah. They looked when he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But... After they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a God. Hallelujah. When you are hitting by some problem, the people around you, they will look for a long time. That when you will be buried, when you will be fall down, when you will be defeated, hallelujah. You are not called by the eyes of the people around you, hallelujah. You are not called by the people around you. You are not called by the government of Alma Ireland. You are not called by the support of anything. You are not called by the immigration of this government of Ireland. But you are here for the mission of supernatural, Sister Sanelli. Clap your hand and receive it in the name of Jesus. When God is calling any one of you, hallelujah. Yeah. There will be a change for you to change. I mean, people, the same people will confess. All oh, the things are moving in a supernatural way. For this person, I don't know. Even authority will tell. I don't know how I am doing. I don't know how I am signing for this person. There is some pressure. There is some process. Hallelujah. Oh, Baba Kalaba Handira. Oh, you might be thinking, why long time, Lord? Why are you making me this to God? But there is a supernatural waiting for you in the name of Jesus because of 
Paul shook that problem of him and put it into the fire and they called him first God as king. They did not call anybody else God. But Paul received the title and because of that word, the boss of the land, his father got sick. Diarrhea. Come on everybody say diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> Very distinguishing word, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The boss of the land, his father got diarrhea. And so they were looking who we can call. Who can do a miracle? They could not find anybody else. But everybody's eye, everybody mind that is set upon Paul. This post and hallelujah, he did not kill by the greatest poison. So he got something, he, he is carrying something. And they only call Paul. And now he is entering where? To the palace. Now everybody when they are resting in the street. But Paul has been called into the palace. Paul has been treated with a royal food to eat. Hallelujah. Paul prayed and a miracle happened. You may, I mean, do you think Paul has been put into the street? No. Hallelujah. I believe that. The owner of the land might be given the highest accommodation for him. Hallelujah. In the place. For you to receive the highest place or a highest miracle. You might go need to go through some time. You might need to go through the fire. But the God who has called you. When you go walk in the fire. I will be with you. Hallelujah. When you cross the water. That I will be with you. Hallelujah. The God who has called you and me. He will never leave you. No forsake you. Hallelujah. Don't ever boost about your pain. Dear children of God. Don't ever boost about your problem. Dear children of God. Don't ever disappointed about the cancellation of anything of your life. Don't ever disappointed about the people around you. They are looking to bury you. They are looking when this person, his life will end. But I want to tell you, if you set your eye upon the God Almighty, the creator of the entire universe, you might be receiving the rest of post. You might be receiving the special post. But you will not be shaken. You will not be moved. Hallelujah. The God, he wanted to perform a greater miracle. Only specially for you. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody stand in the presence of God Almighty. You are highly favored in the sight of God. You are called for the mission of supernatural. Paul was going into the mission of natural. But only one thing, only one statement of his life. Listen everybody careful. Just meditate on the words what I spoken. I know Many of you going through a lot of trials, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, a lot of questions. Do you think your God doesn't know that? Do you think the eyes of your God is blinded? Do you think the ears of your God is deaf? Do you think his heart is hardened? Oh no. No children of God, no. No one. He is a God of compassion. He is a God of peace. He wanted to completely destroy the devil and his kingdom from your life. So when you walk on the street, the same eyes will identify. The same devil, he will identify. I cannot play with this person. Hallelujah. When you put your feet in any room, even the devil, devil that the forces of darkness that will flee away. The things you are using, God can make it used for performing miracle. If Paul could, may, may not be allowed to go under persecution, if Paul might be said, Lord, you call me, you told me to go to the city and you will tell that what I supposed to be done. If you are God, why you will allow me these things? If Paul should have said that, his handkerchief may not be healed the diseases. The prison may not be shaken with a greater earthquake. Dear children of God. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye the first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added. Everything else. Every miracle, every level of miracle that will be added for you. Today my Jesus is looking 
to who through whom he can manifest his glory today the spirit of god is looking through whom i can bring the revival fire come on worship team sing that song again breakthrough hallelujah who ever can sing that song step into the stage please and who ever can play the music for that song get into the music hallelujah thank you jesus by faith today as you are going to sing this song going to declare that you devil you cannot shake me with the problem i am facing i am going to go to the another door where my god has stored the treasure for me by faith sing this song and declare it you might be under pain you might be under unidentified disease you might be persecuted with many people but sing by faith and dance the more you dance in the house of god the more great earthquake will happen and it will shake your bondages hallelujah do that
in your weakness breakthrough in your spirit breakthrough in your soul breakthrough in your body the doctors can bring only breakthrough some of the part of your body the psychologists they can bring only some kind of counseling for you or your families they can support you in some of the area but one who can bring a breakthrough in every single area is the Lord Jesus Christ is the holy spirit of the living god that's what the bible says where the spirit of god there is liberty we truly carry the anointing of god wherever you go i mean you might be beaten up you might be put down you might be under persecution you might be facing this challenges that challenges but there will be victory for you hallelujah Oh, there will be a victory. The same people called you murder. That's the same mouth will confess. Oh, they are gods. Hallelujah. Allow God to operate. Move to the next level. Move to the higher level. Hallelujah. You will be a testimony for the living God. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We honor you. Can you lift your hand and tell the Lord the situation I am in. the pain i am in the disappointed i am in the cancellation of anything in my life it is not hidden in your sight it is not hidden can you tell him that it is not hidden daddy you are watching over it oh the one who watch over the israel the bible says he will never sleep no slumber he is moving with a greater compassion for you more than your father can move more than your pastor can move more than your prayer support can move he is a great com- compassionate god you are into the mission of supernatural keep moving keep moving hallelujah father i bless your people in the mighty name of jesus strengthen in their weakness of god let there be a breakthrough in their weakness in the name of jesus declare your glory my god my father continue to lead us and guide us We pray this week is a week of victory my God. Father my God as we having special meeting I pray that nobody will be ignorance to this meeting study. Nobody my God what do you plan to for us to have it? No devil can divert that even our own place that we will keep everything aside and come and stand. We will show that who is our God. Bless your people. bless the families peace of god that surpasses all understanding that will reign upon your people and lead them into glory to glory to power to power into transformation to transformation of god father we surrender everything to your blessed hand giving all the glory and honor and adoration to you and you alone my god you're worthy of all the praises today daddy my god we give you glory and honor to you 
Jesus mighty and blessed name we ask this prayer Amen Amen give a clap for the Lord hallelujah May God bless you don't forget have your refreshment uh, youth go immediately to the second floor that you have the special refreshment there and brothers please